kami. Fiora Mabuhay. Hello, 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 hello. It's been a while, guys. But I'm back. I know that it's been almost two months since my last video upload. And that video is about me moving out of my apartment. Stating the reasons why. Because it's expensive. Because I live on the fifth floor. Because there's a construction going on just beside it and it's too noisy and some other things I've been spending almost 400 a week in that place it was okay at first because I have nowhere to stay I was given a week to look for an apartment and that's the best place I got spending 400 a week for everything is really too much I know that in my last apartment tour video, I've mentioned that I am not into flatting. Mainly because I am a messy person in general. And uh, I don't wanna share my mess or my being disorganized with some other people. But, you know, times have changed. I am actually staying now in a flat with two flatmates. It's funny and interesting how you can change in such a short period of time. And if that change is gonna save you a lot of cash, then by all means, do it. The way I found this flat is also via Trade Me. There's a specific category for flatmates. Looking for flatmates or flats in that website, go check it out. It's very, very helpful. So without further ado, this is my apartment tour. So first stop before I take you to my new house is this community pool area. People living in the nearby houses. Well not all people but because I can tell you the address, but like people living in blank address have access to this pool area. And I could say that this is a decent pool. I think it's good to chill here during summer, which is not applicable right now because it's quite cold already. Winter is coming in a month and you can already feel it. It's very far from the summery weather we had like two months ago or a month ago. So you get free access. I know I have a new haircut. I know I'm wearing different clothes. It is because the part that you've just seen was filmed about a month ago and it is only now that I can film and continue this because things got a little bit crazy at work. Uh, I'm keeping a day job so you know having the time and the energy to do this really requires a lot and I'm just happy that today I can continue doing so and I actually salute all the vloggers video creators that can consistently upload on a regular basis while keeping a day job because man it takes a lot but the start of this show is this new apartment that I am in I've been here for more than two months already and I'm glad that today I can be able to show you guys where I am at, how does it look like and you know it's really different from living on your own but that could be on a separate video like when we compare flatting and living solo but today at this moment with this video what I want to show you guys is my flat tour so let's start with the dining area which in video really looks good right I love it so we've got these uh, zebra printed chairs 
an action chair in here. Is that what you call it? It's very clean, very simple, and this geometric painting and the two tall lamps in there really gives it a perfect look. It's a place that I would definitely want to eat in on at. It's a place that I really want to eat at. So next to the dining area is this little balcony in here. I came here almost end of summer and I could say that you know this is the best spot to see the outside world of this house. It has quite a view. In here I have trees. I can see like some buildings and I can get fresh air. And in this balcony, we have two chairs and a mini table. I think it's good for having afternoon tea or like casual drinking if you have a guest. And this balcony oversees the garden that I've shown you downstairs. You know, the thing about the garden is I can't really imagine how three 20 something professionals can maintain such a place. At this point, this would require like professional help to have this organized. Next up is the living room. As you can see, the living room is very spacious. I mean, I could fit like 12 to 15 guests in here and you could just watch TV. My TV in here is luckily a bigger one than my previous apartment and I enjoy it a lot. I do eat in this mini table while well, I sit here. <laughs> I have become a fan of The Chase. So it's a game show with a very interesting format. Couches, two solo couches, and one big one. Coming from a place which is like very small, I really appreciate the space that I am having right now. Like you can just move really freely, but you know, with the space comes the responsibility of cleaning it. And it Comparing it to my old apartment, it's like 10 times the effort that you have to work on for this place to stay clean and conducive for living. Next up is the kitchen area. We have an island in here where we prepare the food that we're gonna cook and basically in the morning this is where I take my coffee or my iced tea or my coke. In here you have a large fridge. I love this part of the kitchen because if you can remember from my old apartment I just have two cooktops but in here I have four and I can actually control the heat. In my old apartment I think it's kind of broken so I always burn my food down. In here is the oven, the ever reliable oven. If you've seen my previous apartment tour video, I think I said that I love using the oven because there are so many dishes that you can cook easily on the oven and it just tastes great. The consistency is there, you know, you can get a lot of moisture in there, <laughs> whatever. And this is just the kitchen, you know, you can see the toaster, we have a rice cooker for the Asian guy and me, the sink, just a bunch of random stuff in here. We have a toaster and a microwave as well. And this is the pantry part. So we're done with the second floor and I don't think if I mentioned but this is a three-story house. So the first floor is usually where the garage is. That's there's like a mini lounge. There's the garden. The second floor houses the dining room, the living room, the kitchen, and one toilet. But on the third floor is where all our bedrooms are. And we have this main bathroom in here which I could probably show show you. The shape of this bathroom is kinda odd. It's like elongated, but there's like 
rough corners around. It's just so nice to shower in a closed container. When you get the water hot, it will keep the heat inside this room. And we have this small mirror in here. I think this is the only place where I can see myself because I don't have a mirror in my own bedroom. And it's just perfect for brushing your teeth, I guess. <laughs> So lastly, what I really wanted you to see is my new bedroom. Ta-da! I have a double size bed and this one does not disappoint. With this little space that I have, I have to you know, be smart about where I put my things. So I put a lot of hooks in here so I can hang my stuff. Like these are the pants that I just wore once and I'll probably be using again. So this room is very bare and I do have plans on putting some things in it to make it more interesting. But I guess that could be part of a individual room tour video. So that's the video guys. I hope you got a good picture of how a $695 apartment looks like in the city. Thank you for watching. I hope you had fun and I hope that I could really post videos more often but I cannot promise that thing yet but you know I'm always aiming for it. I have so much ideas on my head it's just like a matter of availability to do them but yep thank you for watching and subscribe subscribe share this video if you want and I love you baby love you so much. Mm. I'm not going to die, but I'm not going to die.